I want to speak to uh, why the cell phone and the cell phone mine is a critical anchor point uh, because uh, as it relates to let's let's assume the hypothesis that uh, Kenny Veach was dehydrated or possibly had a medical issue he could have had chest pains or you know whatever uh, I don't think he would be like delirious and goes wandering all over the desert for 20 miles so let's look at this and, and why the cell phone is so critical is uh, anchor point okay now when you're going up here Uh, the first time I went up, I didn't go up the wash. I walked at random right along the sticker bushes and cactuses. Randomly all over the place. Not all over the place. I, uh, I went in a relatively straight line because I was shooting for a Gavi Pit 1, which at that time I thought was a cell phone mine. Okay, but a huge point is that this when you're there, it's not like you see it here no you're going through stickers and everything and I did it you know I walked along and I walked along and I I didn't go up the wash over here where you're just walking up the sandy wash no so the thing is that suppose Kenny Veach was working his way down in some kind of medical distress or or whatever the reason the cell phone is so important is because um, you see when I scroll up, it's not it's no tiny area like you think it is. Uh, but anyway, the point is now assuming he was in he went up here and was in distress or something like that and he decides to work his way down either taking a shortcut or whatever work down here. suppose he went up there. He could have went up there. It doesn't. It, it, it doesn't absolutely have to be that he went up this ridge, but he said it in one of his hikes that he went up and then barely survived making it back down. Okay, so let's assume he gets he gets down. He has some kind of distress. Uh, the point is that rules out this area because as you walk up, a person. Uh, like I walked up, like the one lady said, draw a map. Okay, well, I, I walked up here struggling through sticker bushes and every goddamn thing. You know, and it's not easy if you just go up cross country. So the point is it rules out this area because uh, I could go up here and it could turn out I walk right past Kenny Beach. Uh, off over there 50 feet. Easy, easy. Okay, problem is, that would mean that, uh, okay, by the time he was working down into this area, which rules this entire lower area out, like he could have fallen over, blacked out, and he's, you, you walk up, and it turns out he was 20 feet away. You wouldn't have seen nothing. Okay, that's ruled out, uh, because by then he would have known the cell phone was lost, and he would have went to the cell phone. He would know, okay, I... I, I got up 11 o'clock, I was sweating, uh, I was geared up in a coat and stuff, and I stayed there, I rested, messed around, I did pine nuts and this, that, whatever. Well, he would know by then the cell phone was lost. And so he would have got it. He would have just, he could have went up here and go, oh shit, the cell phone is not on me. He doesn't care. He knows that he's gonna go right back down here and get the cell phone. Okay, but he didn't. He didn't. And so that increases the odds uh, of, of this area, this area in here, and not down here. Because when you're, you're walking along through the desert, uh, time and time again, time and time again, that five years later, uh, they find the person must have laid down, took a rest, whatever, had some distress, and he's right over here. Even though people went right up here, well, 20 feet away, no. You're not going to see the person. You're not going to see the person in camo gear and possibly just the soles of boots 
So that's it. That's that's my main point. The uh, cell phone is a critical anchor point. And now the one lady I uploaded about yesterday uh, put in there, and I don't know how she knew it, but she said the cell phone was on a rock with coins. Well, that would mean he placed the cell phone there. You don't, a cell phone does not fly out. You're putting on your coat or taking it off and it flies out and lands on a rock and it wasn't on the wood of the, uh, the mine. It wasn't just sitting there on the wood of the mine like, uh, well, I hope they find it and uh, think I'm up here and whatever. No, it was sitting on a rock. I don't know that, but uh, cell, cell phone is, uh, is very critical because it rules out all of this because he would have been working down knowing full well the cell phone was missing. Anyway, that's it. That's it.